boys, it's currently the next day and I'm still working on Abyssal Demons. I have noticed a severe accuracy issue when it comes to using the Shadowrun Sword and I've died a couple of times because they just keep hitting and I zero, don't get heals and then I die because of it. So I just had the random idea, the Seldor has slightly higher strength bonus but obviously Shadowrun has that whole effect where uh, it has that one bigger hit every once in 10 seconds or some shit. But I was just thinking, maybe just using the Crystal Blessing with the cell door, if I have enough achievement points, I'll have to sell something real quick. Um, then I think that might beat it, because the Blessing will give us 25% accuracy and damage with the cell door. So I feel like that should perform pretty damn well. We have a Maniac on our next pet. Better than a fucking Chaos Blessing, we don't have an armament yet, so... I was just thinking maybe this could work out. Honestly, if we end up using that a lot, maybe we'll get rid of the Shadowrend altogether. But it should definitely hold up, honestly. It has higher strength bonus as well. It's one tick slower than when I'm using the Shadowrend uh, on the accurate style. But even then, you know, and 25% is a lot. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see how this performs, if it hits any accurate good stuffs. Yeah, damn, this thing be slapping. <laughs> I'm noticing an immediate difference. Shadowrend was just very inaccurate. Lots and lots of zeros, which has already cut down quite a bit. But the Zeldor on top of that just fucking hits high. Like, I've seen some 90s in there and stuff. I'm not like Infernal or anything. This works pretty damn well. I, fi I figured this would be a good share. Like, if you're somewhere around the mid-game like this account, you do have Shazing and stuff, you can get your hands on a Blade of Zeldor, even if you don't have the full crystal set. Shit's still pretty good against stuff like this, like demons and such. You know, give it a try. <laughs> Probably not against dragons, because Dragon Hunter Lance is just that strong, but especially the imbued version then. But yeah, I thought this, uh, this is a pretty good one. N not something I at first would have thought of, but hey, oh yeah, Crispy's one. I mean, it's a shitty one. I don't have a Bone Crusher, so my fucking bag is gonna fill. I have to bank again, damn it. But yeah. Cool, works well. Oh, there's another rare drop coming in, a doubled 5 sacred tokens. That is some good money right there. Not sure how much they're each, but I think if they're like 100 mil each, that would be a 1 build drop then. Huh. We'll have to find out later, but that's nice, nice, we'll take it, especially the doubled. Alright, we're about to hit 250 KC on this kill right here. So that is getting complete quote-unquote complete Abyssal Demons, obviously. We haven't had any of the uniques yet, no Abyssal Gloves, no Bang of the Beast from the Hellhound, all of that, so I can't really say it's completed. No keys from all of these either, so that's a little unlucky. <clears throat> but uh, at least in terms of doing the task-related stuff, we should finish it here. I'm hitting extremely low right now, finish it off, thank you very much. Yep, there we go. Okay. No loot, but that's fine. Another 250. We are now at 9,120 boss points. Closing in on it, bit more to go. Um, and now if we open the tasks, we'll get three mystery chests, some fault keys, and three... Well, I think I already claimed that crest, right? So just the uh, three mystery chests. Brutal Mithril Dragons. Those are gonna be rough. <laughs> Not sure if I can kill it in my current setup. I could try it out, but... Even with a Dragon Hunter Lance, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Hell Demons are just ass in general, I don't know what else to tell you. Probably won't do those until I get a Chasm Quaker bow. Doing more challenge mode Chasm wouldn't be the worst idea, just try and hunt our own bow later. Uh, I, I guess I'll give Brutal Mithril's a try, but if I die consistently very quickly, then I'm not going to continue doing that. And I guess we can open those mystery chests real quick, why not? He's pretty, yeah. I want to get the mystery shots from this anyway, rather than selling them. Twirlage rope, top some rune coins. Kill that cannon set. Profound gem, hey, it's a gem. Can use that once for a little bit of extra tokens at least. How much is a gilded cannon worth? Not much, boys, not much at all. That's what happens when things don't have a rune coin value, sad life. God damn, bruh. Ever since the crystal cannon came out, maybe just make it enchantable, you know? It could even cost like 10 gold ca cannons or even more, I'm gonna shit. Would be an interesting one, or, or one with like a 5% enchantment rate or something. But first, time for a hunt left daily. I really want to try and upkeep this a little bit. <clears throat> it's just a couple of days. We'll, uh, uh, like a couple a day. We'll get us close to the achievement, and the daily is just really good, you know? I want to get those uh, sack of tokens and riches every day, if possible. 
I didn't do it yesterday, but still. There we go, task completed. No drops, but that is okay. Look at that. This is just beautiful. All of that for like a little bit of work. Doesn't even take that long, maybe 10 minutes. So worth it. No epic lux from them, but 75 regulars. Not too awful. I got a few more bags. I. Whoop. I'm no background. Uh, got a few more bags I can enchant real quick, but nothing too crazy there. A little bit of platinum tokens from the sack of riches, that's always nice. But nothing too crazy in there. Some epics from this one. No. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I completed a Hunlev achievement for a pet box, I believe. Yeah. If you kill it three times, I got it the last time. I totally forgot about it. It's a Callisto pet junk. Yeah, dragons do be a bit of a struggle. I think I'm just gonna continue doing episode demons for a bit longer. Dragon Hunter Lands or something of that level would most certainly help. Maybe even a 4 to 2 blessing. They hit a lot, what can I say? A crest piece number 3 will gladly take that. That might even make a full crest if I'm not mistaken. I feel like I have a number 1 and 2 in the bank. Maybe even multiple number 2s. Nice. Just some uh, sudden realization that I probably have souls for perks at this point, huh? 463 of them, in fact. Could have bought this a long while ago. At least that one. Next perk will be 500 key refund. We just have to get that before we do Rift Walkers. Um, probably gonna get drop rate first. Just wanna be able to start doing it. Who knows, you know? Maybe I'll get spooned like a fine KC uh, Rift Walker pet. You never know. That would be instant bank made. Or, of course, I can choose to keep it. We'll have to see what choice we make if something like that happens. It sells for a lot of money though. And like, the pet is great, but... Is it worth it over all the other potential upgrades we could get by selling it? You know what I mean? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. In the meanwhile though, you know, just nice to daydream because I probably won't actually get one. Oh shit, just got an imbu stone as I was about to check something out. Very nice, another additional uh, little drop right there. Not that one, I wanted to open the shop actually. This one is 250, yeah we can already buy this, why not? I plan to do quite a bit of Fold of War. And uh, this will allow us to get a mystery chest every day, so why the fuck not? I think that's a good decision right there. Just suddenly thought of it like, oh, can't I buy that one already? Uh, we'll have to get the drop rate and the uh, key return fund thingy afterwards, but that's fine. And we just got an imbue stone on top while well, it's already in the bank, but uh, yeah. We're making some good money from Fold already and we don't have any uniques yet. And I don't even mind it. Money. We won a little Gold Hunger Games again. Can we actually get lucky on something? No. Yeah, like I said yesterday, we do have enough crest pieces to make a full one. We have multiple of the good ones. We could even buy a spare crest piece one that's not even that expensive. Make it into a full one and put those two in there as well. Also got my mystery chest and some alchemy shots from the Fault of War daily. Check that one out, five noted crests. Oh, wow, it's actually a crest piece number two. Um, that's not too shabby actually, okay. Uh, Karazi chips, yeah, the rest is kind of junk. Always hope for those noted grand crests. Uh, anything else have sold overnight? Yes, sir. More of the event epic crystal keys, 50 mil each. Grand crests have sold. Ring of condensing ain't selling, but... Other than that, a chunky amount of money right there. Let me just check how much it's going for at the moment. Only for about 2.5, so that's why mine ain't really selling. We'll match the 2.5 price and then we'll buy a crest. Yeah, it should show up right away, it's the cheapest one. And of course it gets no... And there we go, two more crests to sell. Sadly, they went down a bit compared to when we originally got those other ones. I don't even remember how much I sold them for, but yeah, 3.4-ish, it's uh, they went down quite a bit again all of a sudden. Um, not sure what dictates those prices, maybe just the minute a rich gambler decides, you know what, I'm gonna get the Grand Crest log and he buys all of them out. Those are the times they maybe go up a bit, not sure. Either way, another 9.5 bill in there, not bad, not bad. I did waste some money on Crystal, I can't lie. Shit's going down fast. The helm is now at like 2 bill and I paid 5 bill for it. Not a massive loss, but if I had just waited a little bit longer, I could have gotten it cheaper, I guess. I wasn't sure. Anyway, um, yeah, items stacking up nicely. No real unique yet, but uh, we did just surpass 9,500 boss points. Just a bit more. I want to do fucking Hydra, man. <laughs>
Yeah, y'all remember when there was a twist pendant in the trading post for a 20 bill? There's only one in there now, and it's 30 bill. Yeah, can't do the task after all sad life. Kinda of funny, cause the twisted chants are so fucking dirt ass cheap. Look at that. 4.75 bill for twisted chants. Beyond ridiculous. The problem is no one has sanguine S dependence because no one runs TOB anymore. Like our very, very little. Real gotta get back into that shit. Money to be made, just sanguine S dependence, a Fernic Hilds, they've been going for a lot. Like, there's none in TP even. No one does TOB realistically anymore, it's sad to say. But, uh, yeah, I really wanted to do that elite task. The 1k tokens could have, you know, brought us really close to maybe even a second recharge. I do want to go for an unyielding, but I was thinking I can get a second recharge, make things more AFKable, even like elite god wars and stuff. Having two recharges is fantastic. And then obtain the money to just buy an unyielding uh, accessory eventually. That was kind of my plan, but now that I can't get those 1k tokens, I'm not sure. Got myself a full rune coin exchange, and we got that gem the other day for a little bit extra. If I can scrap around my bank for a little bit more, we might be able to... No, actually, I would need like a couple more exchanges, actually, that's 100k, right? So I can, I can buy the currency pouch in advance for when we get to Hydra, Cerberus, that kind of stuff, depending on what I want to do and when I want to do it. Hey, very nice. Then we could do that, but I need another 35.1k. In my mind, it was <laughs> 75k tokens, but that's for Iron Man, sadly. 12k worth of items in here. I remember saying Barrow's items wasn't really worth rune coining. If you can sell them for more than what their rune coin value is worth, and that is true. But I am also incredibly lazy and trying to sell individual, you know, barrel pieces takes way too long for me. Spent some runex points on holy wrenches, just trying to squeeze out everything I can. Honestly, just want to have it. Doesn't hurt us to do that, and uh, I'd like to be prepared. That way we don't have to worry about it when we eventually reach that point, you know? All right, 93k room coins. We're so close, but I have a great idea to push us over the edge. I don't think sacred tokens are that expensive, but let's check it out real quick. Uh, this is more expensive than I thought. Ugh, five bill to buy 20 of them. I thought they would be like 150 mil each. What have they been going for recently? 241, yeah, like just Yesterday they were going for 150 to 200. So these are definitely a bit overpriced. Not that much in a rush. We don't need it right now anyway. So I can keep this on hold. But when 20 cheaper ones show up, I can buy those, use it, buy the currency for a log slot, and then we just need the Zarad bow after that. Room coin it for 10k and get our currency pouch that way. Shame I can't finish it off. It feels weird to walk away without finishing something like this but whatever it's, we don't need it right now anyway so close enough oh, we might save ourselves some money because we got another five sacred token drop need fi 15 more not the worst